This is an Ikea hinge. And it's a unique little hinge that has a four bar linkage system. Beautiful little design. And what it does is as it's folded, let's see if I can do it without pinching myself. As it's folded, the hinge moves the door inward and forward at the same time. See that? All because of the action in that four bar. And so using SolidWorks, we want to reverse engineer this little guy. So I've drawn up the base body. You can see, see that there? Base body. See how that goes? Pop this open. And so what I'm doing is building the pieces internally. So you can see that's going to be this little link and I'm going to convert it into sheet metal and uh, assemble it so that we can use a similar design in some some work designs. So this is a big, big method for SolidWorks users who are trying to reverse engineer parts. And I thought I'd take you through some of the process. So I'm just doing a lot of measuring, measuring from point to point, going back and forth. And here, in this case, uh, in this case, I'm doing the best I can to measure that little internal link. Is me measuring point to point. So I've just measured center to center and then designed around it the, the closest I can. I mean, you do the best you can. And what I'm gonna do is just trim out uh, a couple sections here. So I'll pop that out and I'll pop that out and then this becomes useful. And I, ref, I left this corner sharp because that's going to be a actual uh, edge bend and then I'll flange off of it. It's, it's probably a little bit, I'm looking at it because I think it's a little bit tall, but we'll see. I think it'll flange, uh, flange off the end there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna say feature extrude and I want to push it in. And so I want a depth. Now I'm just measuring this on the caliper because I didn't do that ahead of time. And so I'm just going to take a quick video here. Video this. Boom. So we're going to go 0 0.58. Six point five eight six will be close enough. Point five eight six. Okay, so we should have the width there. Pop that in, and there's my link. Now that's my four bar. Now I need to convert this into a sheet metal part and bust a hole. <laughs> a funny wording, right? Bust a hole through the top. So what I'm going to do is I believe these two are parallel. I'm just gonna look, go to a normal view. And yeah, they're parallel. So I'm gonna sketch on this top piece and this will be my cutout for my clearance hole. So I'm gonna add that in. And I want it to adjust with the width of the part, regardless of the width change. So I'm just gonna add these center lines in. And I know you can add a symmetric mate, but I find that when I add in lines and set them equal, that uh, it responds better in the long run. So I'll just make sure these are all set proper. There. And so now it should remain centered. And then I just have to position it from, I guess I'm going to measure to the hole. What I'm, what I'm hoping to get is this. Oh, it's hard to do on the is this measurement right here. Boom. Yeah, I'm trying to go from that edge to the center of this hole, and that's what I'm gonna measure. I can't do it with this in my hand. Will it let me? Um, I need my temporary axis, so I'm going to display, whoop, I'd show axis, I don't even have an axis in there. Can we flip these on now? Show, no. If 
fine. I'll just put an axis in. Oh, I have something to measure to. All right. So let's go back. Uh, so I need to reorder this. I'm going to put the sketch below the XE. That way I can use it in the sketch. So I'm going from here to here. And of course now I've forgotten my my number. So point, point 0.23. Let's do point 0.23. And then the length of this guy, this cutout, is point 0.41. Point four one five, and this dimension. This is going to clear for the link, which is point one eight. So point one eight. So we're going to have that little clearance now, and I want it to be nice and round. So we're going to add in fillets. I'll say point oh one. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. I want it small. So we'll do that. There we go. So we're going to go. Think, think, think. 0.586. There we go. All right. So blow that hole through. One, we'll say through all. And that's one step. Okay. So next step is we want to blow a hole through this. Oh. I didn't realize that. No. This will be a two-stepper. So I'm going to sketch this. Go to normal view. We're going to add some dimensions in here. Point 0.039. I think that's right. 0.039. I'm just going to double check. I think it's all. Oh no, this is 0.06. This is a little heavier duty part, 0.06. 0.06. So the main body was 0 0.39, 0 0.06. So this is almost 16 gauge. Uh, I said I don't need that. I just need to put this on edge here. So we'll make that collinear. And then we'll blow a hole through everything. So feature extrude. I want both directions. Okay, so it's looking a little bit more like a sheet metal part. The the my oops in this was eh. It's this guy. Right? It's this piece. I got to chop that out. So I guess I'll put a cut on the inside here and think how do you do this. So I want this to be offset 0 0.06. So that'll give me my height and I suppose I'll do the same here. Offset. Like that. And then just clean this up. So I'm just using my trim command there right off of my mouse. Oops. There. Okay. So we'll extend that out and I guess that's it. So bring this down. Oh. Okay. So I sketched on the inside surface and I'm gonna extrude over to this edge. That's that's my plan anyway. And I just need to lock this down. You don't want to leave any dimensions hanging, right? In blue, because when things change, <laughs> it'll come back to haunt you and I don't want to create a problem later, so I'm just going to make that offset and give this some dimension. Point one. That way, everything's locked down, and we'll create an extrusion uh, up to 
service. Here. See that? Oh, looks pretty good. So that will get me pretty close. I just need to add a fillet in. So this is a 0.6. Whoops, 0 0.06. Ah, that's not going to be cool. Yeah, I'm going to figure out how to do this better. Yeah. So I'm using 0.06 on the inside because I want the sheet metal. Oh, it didn't do. I had to try and pick up that last piece. There you go. Because I want, I want the radius of the sheet metal to pick it up. And when I convert it, if the edges don't match up then it'll create a problem Oop. so nope it's not gonna let me so I might have to do a second fillet that's a little smaller and that's okay because the software yeah mm, point oh three the software oh man because this edge isn't sharp I gotta think through this I need a sharp stop. I guess. I guess to fix this, we got to take out. Got to take this one out, or it just won't work. So we're gonna take this out and make it sharp. Um, using my trim, I'm just gonna. So I make a corner here, there. So that should fix everything except I lost my dimension. And I just want to set this equal here because it was equal to the other one. Ah, it won't let me select, there we go. Equal, got it, all right? So that's cool, so let's try that now. So now that this edge is sharp, I think it'll convert proper. Yeah, that looks much better. So we're going to try and add a fillet. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, this is going to be, because this is more of a stamping than a flat sheet metal part, but just for giggles, let's just see if SolidWorks will do it. Actually, I'm going to save this. Always save your work before you go flatten something so you can re rebuild if you need to. So uh, I'm using DBWorks, so I'm just going to hit save. And I want this to be my part number two. Okay. Uh, this is really my four. Uh, hinge four bar link. There you go. And we make it, and I'm going to put a finish on there. Okay. So I get that checked in. And now, if I do something stupid, I can recover from it. So I'm going to go sheet metal. We're going to try and convert this. I don't really think it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Let's just clear. Let's try. Let's try from here. No, it's not going to work. That's okay. It's really a stamping because of this weird jog. And that's how they made the part. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that's how they made this part. So it just is what it is. And I think we're going to end up 3D printing it as a test part. So it doesn't really matter. But... Uh, what I can do now is put it in an assembly, which is kind of exciting. So let's look at my two parts. I'm going to say file. Whoop. I want this one, make an assembly. Make an assembly from part. You know, if I don't do anything, if I don't click and drag this out, if I just hit the check mark. So, I mean, I, I could, if I highlight either one of these, right, it'll let me drag it out and put it in the assembly. I just want, I want it set default on origin, right? That's what this is saying. 
So I'm just going to say OK. And it'll position it just how I drew it, exactly how I drew it, which is nice because now when I want to bring in this hinge four bar, if, if I come into the top level assembly, it's just it's going to drop in place by origin, which is kind of cool. That's a useful feature. Um, now what I want to do is mate these two together. And I'm going to use a symmetric mate. So if, if you ever want a nice shortcut, if you hold the control button down and select all four faces, you see the symmetric width, or I'm sorry, the width mate pops up. So I'm going to click that and it just pops right in. Done. Didn't have to, didn't have to go over to assembly and pick mate or anything. It's just going to work. So let's go default. And so now we can see how that guy moves. This is really sweet. So I've got some more parts to make, but that is step two step. Okay, so after quite a bit of tinkering, I've got my hinge design where it's considerably well. So it's going from a full 90, right, where it's this would be in the closed position. The door would be closed inside the cabinet, so the cabinet would be down here, and the door, actually this is the cabinet side, so this would swing out and it would be completely open. And we're seeing in this area here, it's going around the frame. So it's actually lifting the door outward and then right here, it snaps into place. So it's pretty exciting.